Hello guys! Welcome back to my channel! Today, we're going to show you how to apply in PILSIS Registry Office under PSA or Philippine Statistics Office. Kung interesado kayo, paano malaman nito? Just keep on watching. Kung hindi pa kayo nakasubscribe, please click the subscribe button and click the notification bell para lagi kayong updated sa mga videos natin. Thank you! So as you can see guys, this announcement of hiring, we got it from www.governmentph.com from their Facebook page. So in their post po is makikita nyo PRO-PSA or PILSIS Registry Office-Philippine Statistics Authority has job opportunities, mga 79 vacant positions po, COSW. So, ano po yung mga position na yun? It's Administrative Assistants, Computer Operators, Information System Analyst, Registration Officers, IT Officers, at ang deadline po ay sa August 14, 2020. Just a disclaimer lang po, I'm not affiliated to any government agency in the Philippines. This source is from psa.gov.ph and also from the Facebook page of governmentph.com or their triple dot governmentph.com Thank you! So, sa Facebook page po nila ay makikita natin yung link kung saan natin makikita yung full details about the job application. Next is yung salary packages po sa bawat position. So, just to take note po is lahat ng position ay kailangan meron po tayong civil service eligibility. So, isa-isay na lang po natin yung mga job description sa link na nandoon. So, sa Facebook page po nila, ikiklik lang natin yung link. And then, mara-route na tayo sa another page. Ito yung sa website nila, Government PH. So, here po, makikita nyo yung uh, announcement about the PLC's Registry Office hiring 79 contract of service workers. So, yung PLC's Registry Office is under the PSA. So, nakakailangan sila ng mga following positions. So, ito po yung sinasabi ko. Sa Administrative Assistant, kailangan nila ng 6 number of vacancies. Salary grade of 8. Ang katumbas po nun ay 16,282. Next is may additional compensation ng 3,256. And kailangan is CS sa professional passer tayo. Education, completion of 2 years in college or high school graduate, vocational or trade course, experience at least 1 year of relevant experience. Sa computer operator is na kailangan sila ng Four vacancies. Zoom lang natin para makita nyo. Salary grade 9. Per month salary is 17,473. Additional compensation, 3,494. Eligibility, CS subgroup or data encoder. Education, completion of 2 years, experience at least 1 year. Administrative assistant 5, number of vacancies 1, salary grade of 11, salary per month is 20,179, additional compensation 4,035, CS professional. So, ito po yung mas higher sa subprop. Education, completion of 2 years in college, experience at least 1 year, remarks preferably with internal and external communication skills. Next position is information system analyst 1. Number of vacancies 10, comparable salary grade 12, salary per month it's 22,149 with additional compensation of 4,429.80. Eligibility CS professional, education, bachelor's degree relevant to the job, preferably graduate of IT or any related course. Experience at least one year of relevant experience. Next post po is administrative assistant 6, number of vacancies 2. Comparable salary grade of 16, salary per month 22,149, additional compensation 4,429.80, eligibility CS professional, 
education, bachelor's degree relevant to the job, experience at least one year of your relevant experience, remarks, knowledgeable or familiar with ICT policies. So, basa-basahin na lang po natin yan. Next is registration officer 2. Mayroon po tayong 30 vacancies, comparable salary grade of 14, salary per month 26,494, additional compensation 5,298, eligibility CS professional, education bachelor's degree, experience at least one year experience. So, marami po dyan. Makikita natin sa link na iyon. Okay. So, meron din silang inattach na PDF file kung saan makikita natin yung pinaka-details from Philippine Statistics Authority. So, ito yung, ito yung at, uh, let's say, yung position tapos yung job description. So, mas maganda is i-download nyo para makita nyo ng mabuti. And then, makikita nyo rin dito yung compensation and remarks. So, ayan. Lahat ng mga sinabi natin position or nakita is nandito po. So, better na i-visit nyo po yung site para meron tayong clear understanding sa mga position, sa salary, and sa job description and eligibility po. Okay, guys? So, dito na po nagtatapos ang ating uh, how to or ang ating video. I hope na nakatulong po ito sa inyo and sana makapasa tayo sa ating application. Thank you so much for watching!